A Louisiana judge is blaming sedatives for the onslaught of racist slurs used in a video at her home that she that recently surfaced. Judge Michelle O'Donne says she is sorry and taking an unpaid leave of absence, but insists that she's not quitting the bench. CNN's Ryan Young joins us now. So, Ryan, what else is her attorney and what is she saying right now? Well, you think about this, uh, Caitlin, this video is going viral. A lot of people asking questions about what was going on inside this home. And I got to tell you, we bleeped a lot of this audio, but some people may find the language they're about to hear pretty offensive. Oh, a home video showing outdoor surveillance footage of an altercation with a burglary suspect. I'm like, pull up, pull up. We can't see their faces, but the people are watching and are heard commenting on the video at times using racist language. And mom's yelling, The people who are watching the video are heard using the N-word over and over, and sometimes laughing. At one point, saying the suspect was like a roach. It all took place at the home of Lafayette City Court Judge Michelle Onyet. It is unknown who recorded the video from the inside of the home, or who is speaking, and how it became public. Now on yet is facing calls for her resignation. I was disgusted. Local advocate and activist Gary Chambers is among those calling for the judge to step down. This judge in the privacy of her home uses the N-word and refers to people as roaches. Um, that's what she views certain people who come into her courtroom as, and therefore she cannot dispense justice equitably. Lafayette police say early Saturday morning, two vehicles parked on the home's driveway were broken into. The suspect tried fleeing but was caught and held down until officers arrived on the scene. I'm the one that took him down. Soon after the video became public, Judge Onyet issued a statement to affiliate KATC saying in part, I was given a sedative at the time of the video. I have zero recollection of the video and the disturbing language used during it. Anyone who knows me and my husband knows this is contrary to the way we live our lives. I am deeply sorry and ask for your forgiveness and understanding. I don't know any medicine that makes you call somebody an N-word. On its lawyer telling local media she is now taking unpaid leave. I know that there are so many people that have said, oh, she was in her private capacity. That matters not to me because a black robe does not hide what's obviously in her heart. And we all know, the entire country knows what she thinks about African-Americans at this point. The chairman of the Louisiana Legislative Black Caucus is calling for Onyet's immediate removal. And the local NAACP chapter issued a statement saying, in part, we call now for her immediate and uncompromising resignation. We demand swift and immediate act by the Judiciary Committee of the Louisiana Supreme Court, removing her from office. We have requested from the Louisiana Judiciary Commission um, to place an ad hoc judge there. There's precedent. They've done it before when other racist judges have made comments. You know, I respect the due process and, and I will um, allow for the Judiciary Commission to make um, their um, investigation and, and their findings. But if they don't, um, I'll be bringing them to the table here at the legislature because they have to come and answer to us anyway. Yeah, Caitlin, just uh, last night, the governor actually weighed in as well and thought that she would need to step down after these statements were made in public. So a lot of questions about how to move forward, what happens next, but people in this community are upset about the language they heard on that video. The book of um, Jeremiah. It's a lucky, wrong one. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter two, point is verse thirty-three. Jeremiah chapter two, verse thirty-three. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways, and um. You know, that scripture is in regards to Yahshua Allah, you know, Israel. Um, basically, you know, at one point we were kings and priests, you know, um, you know, a, a nation of mighty, um, of men, a, a nation of, 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 of true, real men, you know, um, and real women. When you go into um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and it talks about how, um, the women were so dainty. <laughs> and I was listening to the elder, um, Monte Zakbot in um, South Carolina. He was talking about how you got these women that are more 
uh, masculinized, or if that's even a word, they're they're mask, they're, they're they're like how some men are effeminized. Some of these women are believe that they're men. They you know masculated. You know, uh, I don't know if that's a word, but my point being, they 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 think that this is how a woman's supposed to um, behave in, in, in society. I, I just watched the incident happen today, um, but nonetheless, um, you know, we were a nation of great people, and um, now look at us. You know, we're broken. Um, so we, those those ways that um, set us apart from the other nations that made us a great people, we trimmed to seek love. You know, um, so I'm gonna start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to God. Allah, Yim, Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Racha, Kodak, for the thumb, double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great millstone who do real well. Peace and salutations to the occupant across the four corners of the earth, wishing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwat and the Akimat that listen and learning, who are willing to do this is edifying. Shalom to the ears of life foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations and whom subscribe to this truth to you. I say shalom. And this is Brother Yahweh what's up about the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit, through the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And this video came um, basically because I was watching one of the elder Yasha Wamba in um, Dallas, one of his videos um, in the news. And I wasn't aware of this. A lot of times I get my news from the brothers, you know what I mean? Because I don't get a chance to actually um, watch news like that. To a degree I do, but, you know, I don't even, you know, I don't even like watching local news, you know. You see these fake ass talking heads on TV smiling about shit fucked up. You know, like I said, shit about to go get more expensive. You're going to see them still smiling and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nobody want to watch that shit. But anyhow, uh, well, I don't at least. Um, but yeah, so it made me think about you know, that scripture, because this is nothing new. So, you know, and it's the same old, same old, you know what I mean? And I can see why brothers getting frustrated because it's the same old, same old. You go, you got these people expose their hand. They tell you how they truly feel. And then you go, so, oh, you got these advocates, uh, like talking about the NAACP. When you go to NAACP, that was actually started by Esau. You know what I mean? Because it's basically... You know, you got these gatekeepers, you know, just like they did back in the day when you had the, the Sanhedrin and, and, and you know, you had the, uh, the Pharisees and the um, damn, what, what, Sadducees and the Pharisees. But you had the Sadducees that literally was like paid off by, by, by the Romans, you know what I mean? So you had me in the positions. Like that you have today, like an Al Sharpton. I listened to this one guy. He got a channel called Unplug Him. And to a degree, he write about certain things. But to, you know, he off in so many ways, you know, uh, he named every name. He named the name Yahweh Shai. Then he said Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, I, you know, bugged out to a degree. But, you know, he did, he does bring out some information. He was talking about how Al Sharpton, you know, he goes into basically the symbolism in music. And long story short, he was going into Sharpton. I didn't even know. He was like, Sharpton came from the music industry. This is this is who they created to be one of your leaders. You know what I mean? And, you know, when you people finally realize, okay, you got these so-called, uh, you know, these harlot houses that, you know, you're going to find. It, you know, brother put that in the group chat. It was a, a, a pastor that made the statement, the Messiah hasn't returned because, well, he said Jesus. He said Jesus has returned because people are not putting enough money in the collection bank. This motherfucker literally said it. So that's how you know this place is just gone, you know. Uh, and you and, and expect to see worse. You know, like this woman getting caught. It's all through the spirit. Now, like I said, this was a private video within her house. And somebody leaked that for whatever reason. It, I mean, you know, the Lord could have put a spirit on one of them dumbass Edomites to do that shit. Because people do the shit like that all the time, you know. So, anyhow... Um, yeah, it made me just think, you know, Jake shouldn't be so upset about it and, and, and confounded, you know, stressed out, you know. And, and they, you, but th that's how you know, you know, a lot of our people are literally just like trapped. You know, Esau got them. You know, if you expect the reparations on this side and a system that they literally revamping in your face, you know, we was just going into this Amazon Fresh, you know, stores where literally you could actually. Um, the items that you put in your car automatically get scanned. Automatically. And they talking about how um, the head from um, 
ancient of days was going into because he I guess he works in deliveries like a truck driver or something I'm not for sure but I I knew he drove for a living and long story short he was talking he's talking to the guy that owned the store well it's not owned it's Lockheed that was building the store to form it and he asked him what it, the store was and he you know he was like well you know this is kind of scary because the way that they building the speed they building these stores up and basically basically these stores more than likely are going to be the stores that are going to actually uh you're only going to be able to um like buy your, your goods from, you know, his store is pretty much self checkout because they don't, they, they don't have a, uh, they don't have the need for as many people anymore. You know, they feel that they could use their robots to do it, which they're going to feel miserable with that. But nonetheless, you know, uh, so lucky for all the digression and bu- jumping around, you know, it just, I'm thinking about this shit, you know, uh, you got Jack that's really feeling some kind of way, butt hurt by that. But why would you be butt hurt? The scriptures tell you, um, never trust thine enemy. Or matter of fact, let me get that. You know, uh, scriptures say never trust thy enemy. Uh, it's the book of Sirach, chapter twelve, verse ten. Scripture says, never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So. As iron naturally rusts, this man is naturally wicked. And the, the, the enemy, like we do have enemies. The scriptures tell you in the book of Psalms, chapter 83, Yashorala or Israel has nations that's against them. That's why you got all these different nations that's in cahoots against the nation of Israel. You know what I mean? That's why you have Moab that have come by and build or or or, 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 or own um, stores inside your neighborhoods. But then they take that money out your neighborhood and take it back to where they stay, you know. Um, skipping to verse 12, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? So who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? You knew it was a serpent. You knew it was a snake. You knew it was capable of biting you. So why would I pity you for dealing with it? So, you know, like, uh, it was maybe like a month back, um, the elder, um, I forgot who did a video about it. But basically it was a Jake female, basically. Uh, no, it was the brother Amawan Abad. And he basically did a video about it. it was a Jake female that she was uh, kicking with all these Edomites. And then this woman just so happened to come up dead. Somebody started a GoFundMe. You know what I mean? They didn't have access to her phone. So, you know what I mean? You can't really feel sad for her because, you know what I mean? You dealing with this, these Edomites. These Edomites. And they're going to show more and more of their, of their true nature like incidents like this. You know, you trusting in this devil's word and what this devil telling you when this devil, well, I mean, you know, this devil promised you uh, 40 acres in a mule, which you still haven't received to this day. <laughs> this is the book of Job chapter 15, verse 31. I've been bringing this out lately. Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity. So it said, if you be a deceived, don't trust in vanity. Vanity is worthlessness. You know, something that's worthless for vanity or something worthless shall be your reward, your recompense. So vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense or his reward. So whoever trusted in something that's worthless is going to receive something worthless. So how can you trust in this man's words or his, his, his you know, his, his, his word of he's going to do this or he's not going to do that? When These are the same devils that said that they wasn't going, we were only going to be locked down for two weeks. These are the same devils that literally... The same CDC that actually is telling Jake, we got to take this because we more susceptible to it is the same ones that literally infected, you know, hundreds of 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 Jake men with syphilis and then just sat back and watched. This man's the devil. Him, his fucking little bastard fucking seed, the demonic woman that he fucking with, you know, you know, all of them, you know. You seeing that with this judge. And then the bitch talking about she don't know. And, and you got some stupid ass Jake that's going to forgive him. I just seen the dumb ass Jake talking about, yeah, they're building this and all that. Then at the end of the day, you don't have no say, no matter how many councils you on or what. Like, people really think they got a, a, a heightened sense of, uh, 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 of, of superiority. People think that they're more than what they are. You know what I mean? The most high calls us J- Jacob a worm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's called, you know, Esau, Edom, well, it talks about Cain, but called him a vagabond. You know what I mean? He like, that's a wanderer. Doesn't have a home. You 
this is a book of, uh, you know, that, that's why you need to come up out of her. Uh, matter of fact, let me get that. This is a book of Micah. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So arise and depart and turn away from this place known as America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. You know, come back to the law, statutes, and commandments if you were so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar Indian, West Indian, or Haitian. You know, come up out of her. You know, it tells you in the book of Isaiah chapter 32 about uh, rise, rise you women that are at ease. You women need to come up out of her. You know, you got these people that literally, I mean, just our nation period need to come up out of this place. Because it talks about in the book of Isaiah, all those that joined or joined, found joined on to, on to her shall be thrust through. This is the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 13. The point is verse 14. For here have we no continuous city, but we seek one to come. You know, and th those that are seeking for one to come is the men that's in the truth. You know, the, the you know, the, the women as well, because, you know, the, you know, we all play a part. It's the men's job to go out and, you know, bring out this word, you know, on the highways and hedges and, and teach their lessons and yada, yada, yada. Well, it's not yada, 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 but, you know, to do the work. And a female has work to do. It's just, you know, if you, a woman doesn't understand how much of an import you are just being a strong woman for the man. This is not an easy walk. And that's why I finally clicked to me why so many women are going to be punished and get judged based on, you know, I mean, women left men. That was when, you know, my demon even said that the scriptures tell you that the man is the hedge for, you know, what I mean, a hedge of, uh, it talks about a, a man being the hedge, you know. The, the, the book of Isaiah talks about it. I know the Apocrypha talks about a hedge. And, and, and you got women that's actually leaving a hedge, you know. And, it, you know, that's just like I was telling this female that I know. She up there. I'm like, you sitting up here. I, I got, I'm reading this book right now. People sitting up here assuming what they want and what the most high want. Your happiness is not compared to what the most high got going. That's why it's so important. You know, if the most high has been playing chess moves, that's why it's so important to play the position you've been given, to move in the places that he told you to. Because if what you do doing affects something else, but if you calling yourself, trying, you know what I mean, like that can throw something off. Not, not with the Most High, y'all, about Shemuel Shai, because the thing is, like, like he was going to destroy the children of Israel and raise up a sea onto Moses. You know what I mean? Most High can do whatever he want. He can raise up rocks to prophesy. But it is important for us to actually do the will of y'all, about Shemuel Shai. Actually, I mean, this, 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 this flesh is so weak and selfish. You know, we think about our happiness before y'all, about Shemuel Shai's. And that's why he he delights. That's what he delights in when you. That's why it talks about precious is the death of his uh, precious in the sight of the Most High is the death of his saints because you gave up your life for the Most High God. You know that's why it's precious to the Most High that we literally have uh, for you know sacrificed our our lives on this side to do the will and the work of Yahweh Shem Yahusha. That's why it talks about. Uh, Basically, the Lord not being uh, how does it how's the word? Uh, basically, that He's not gonna forget our labor of love. That the Most High, uh, I don't think you call it. It says He's evil. It says He's not um, slack to forget. I, I think it says slack. I forget how His word is. So lucky if I'm butchering this up. But it's a scripture where He say uh, He's not gonna forget our labor of love. Roughly paraphrased. So you know. Because we we're doing sacrifices on this side, you know. It's a, we live in a world of debauchery and, 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 and that is basically catered around pleasing yourself. So that temptation is there, and that's being a spiritual man. That's why it talks about, um, you know, being a spiritual man as, as opposed to being a carnal. It's not easy to, you know, but like the the brother um, Merck from Chicago said, you you never know how many little battles you done won on a daily. You know, it's not an easy thing to forsake, you know, you know, because our our bodies cater to flesh and feeling good. 
So, oh, that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Like, I just wanted to bring that out. Don't, don't, I mean, you know, the, the hopeful elect, they, they not, um, bamboozled or, or surprised or, you know, um, uh, by any of this, you know, a lot of brothers, like they said, they, they ain't even expecting no reparations. You know, it's nice for stimulus, but I'm not expecting what shit. Hell, I went from getting money to now I owe them money. <laughs> the Lord funny, you know what I'm saying? So you know, at the end of the day, I, 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 I you know, I, I'm, I'm ready for this shit to be over with, <coughs> and I pray that yeah, how about you, shall keep the spirit on me to endure until it is. And I pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh do not take his Holy Spirit away from me. So I pray that a lot of these devils keep on being revealed. So you Jace can start continue to feel butt hurt. And maybe that'll put the spirit on somebody to do something. Because you got to understand, ultimately, no matter what this devil doing or what Jake do, it's all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Tells you that the most high ruler in the uh, kingdom of men. So this is, uh, with that, I'm in the lesson, Lord willingly was edified. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to God. Allah, Yom, La, Yahweh, Ba, Hashem, Yom, Shai, Ba, Hashem, Racha, Kodesh, Ba, Kathah. Double honors to, double honors to the apostles and to the elders, a great millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edified. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations. Subscribe to this truth to you. I say shalom. So next time I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.